Desiree Butler, one of the freshmen. Freshman guard from Columbus, Ohio. Second team All-Stater in Ohio last year into the game. Epps a three-pointer from the left wing, and that one's good. Hit in the face of Riddick, and Central Connecticut with their first lead by one, five to four, 7.20 to go first quarter. Third in the league with over three per game. Kicks it out, Considine, a three-pointer. Too strong, Miller the offensive board. Her putback is good. This is Patterson bringing it through the logo. Considine with eight to Malone. Puts it on the floor once, a little 13-footer from the logo, and she gets it to rattle in. And that will bring us to the end of the first so if you're Janari Harris, how long do you keep Kayla Gibbs on the bench? Well, as long as it's close. Nice pass by Malone to Reynoso, who lays it in. Largest lead of the night for Central Connecticut at four, 14 to 10. And you keep in mind, Goose, a lot of times, as there's a nice pass to Fraze from Hayner, making it 14-12. As I was mentioning, UMass, just their second season as a Division I program, their first year. They went 5-23 last year, 14-15, and 15, so a drastic improvement. As there's a bucket there by Malone, over nine points per contest. There's Lydon at the foul line. Nice pass to Malone, who moves through the lane, steps through, puts it up, knocks it in, and she's fouled. Great cut there by Tayshan A. Malone, moving off the ball. This is the ninth all-time meeting between these teams. Second in the Division I era, Central winning the game last year, up at UMass Lowell, skip pass to Epps, open for three, takes it, and hits it. Second three-pointer of the game for Epps, 25-19 Blue Devils. Now 0 for 4 in this game, Butler, no one picks her up, she gets into the lane, kicks it out to Doucette. Approaching two minutes to go, second quarter, 25-21 Central, three ball, and it's good from Nicole Hayner. Push the other way by Michelle Owens. She gets in the lane, gets stuck in the air. Now Doucette hesitates. Might have got away with a carry and then banks one in. This is Considine with it. Tricky dribbles, gets to the foul line. Somehow it gets through to Epps. She drives along the baseline, forces one up and banks it in. A nice job getting into the lane by Epps. It might help her out. She might have tried to bank that one again the way it came off her hand in the pass. Intercepted by Miller. She's going to go coast to coast. Play it up. Good and the foul. Two free throws by Patterson, tie the game. Smith back in with those three fouls. She hasn't played since late in the second quarter. Ball loose on the floor. Considine dives after it, throws it up to Reynoso, who scoops it up and in. Patterson working against Butler, gives to Ferguson straight away. Considine just above the foul line. Now she'll move left side, nine to go. Ferguson to Patterson. She's going to take a contested three, and she knocks it down. Deanna Patterson in the final seconds of the third quarter hits the three-pointer. That'll give the Blue Devils a two-point lead going into the fourth. And what is the second game of the year for each of these two teams? Both teams looking for their first win. Considine into the lane, puts it under her arm and lays it in. Nazare Butler now, central by two, 47-45, nearly two minutes gone in the fourth quarter. Hayner open for three, too strong. Gibbs the offensive rebound and she scores it. Considine in the corner, she's going to take the three, and it's nothing but net for Caitlin Greer for Considine. This is Miller for Central Connecticut, 5.30 left to play in the fourth quarter. Malone, Considine, she'll try another three, this time way too strong. Epps the weak side rebound in amongst the trees, drops it off to Miller who lays it in. Stolen by Epps. And she goes coast to coast for the hoop. It's a 10-point lead, largest of the night. First double-digit lead for either side. They give to Hanner. She's going to pull a quick from three, and it's a big one. She hits it. They needed that one there. There's Hanner with it. Another look from three. That one might have been partially blocked. Miller grabs the rebound. She'll have a double-double. Gives to Malone. Into the lane she goes, fakes the pass to Considine, lays it in off glass, drops it off to Epps. She'll circle back out, and that should just about do it. Central Connecticut will even their record off at 21 with a 64-53 win.